Hello everyone. Here we are going to discuss a very important topic that is cancers of infancy and childhood. So usually in your university exams, you get a long question on that. If the long question is asked, you have to write about the three important cancers here. That is retinoblastoma, Wilms tumor and neuroblastoma. And sometimes you get a short note on them, on individually each of them. In that they will be asking you either the molecular pathogenesis or clinical features or ROS or microscopy. So we will be discussing all these here in this session. So let's start it. So I'm starting a very important topic that is, you can see here, it's cancers of infancy and childhood. So let's start it. So I will be discussing three tumors as I told you, retinoblastoma, Wilms tumor and neuroblastoma. Each of these I will be discussing under these headings one by one. So I will be starting with retinoblastoma and I will discuss the introduction. It arises from which cell, age, gender, molecular pathogenesis, clinical features, gross, microscopy, spread and prognosis. Followed by this the same sequence I will follow for Wilms tumor and followed by that I will follow the same sequence for neuroblastoma. So I suggest all my dear students to make a comparative table between the three. So please take out your notebooks, take out your pen and start making this table. If you have the book, um, the book for this app, the hard copy, then this table is given to you, you don't have to make. But if you don't have the hard copy of the book, you should make it in your notebook right now. So take out your notebook and start writing. So in a comparative manner, you can you can retain it better and you can revise very easily before your exams. So we will be starting with retinoblastoma, then Wilms tumor, then neuroblastoma and I will also fill this table with you correspondingly. So let's start with retinoblastoma. The first tumor we are starting is retinoblastoma. Before that, let me tell you common cancers of infancy and childhood. Let me enumerate. So we divide the cancers of infancy and childhood according to their age. So let me tell you which tumors are common 0 to 4 years. In 0 to 4 years, most common cancer is leukemia. What is leukemia? Leukemia is blood cancer. In leukemia, there is no solid hard, hard mass. So there is no discrete mass. It's a blood cancer. But the most common solid tumor in 0 to 4 years is retinoblastoma, neuro, uh, neuroblastoma and Wilms tumor. So I will be teaching you these three in detail. The leukemias you will get in the hematology section. All the leukemias are described there very well. Now coming on 5 to 9. In 5 to 9 also the most common malignancy is leukemia only and neuroblastoma can be there but retinoblastoma and Wilms tumor do not usually occurs after 5 years. From 10 to 14 years of age, ret uh, renal cell carcinoma, hepatocellular carcinoma, soft tissue sarcomas, these are the important tumors. These all tumors, neither leukemias nor these three tumors that is retinoblastoma, neuroblastoma and Wilms tumor are common after 10 years. So this is how you have to learn the overall classification of the tumors or cancers which are common in infancy and childhood. So let's start the three tumors one by one. I will be starting with retinoblastoma. So let's start retinoblastoma. So what is retinoblastoma? It is one of the most common primary intraocular malignancy of childhood. So it occurs in children. It occurs in children. So childhood, it is the most common primary intraocular malignancy. It is the primary intraocular malignancy. So it is arising from the retinal cells. So in the eye, we have a retina. So eye is like a eye, eyeball is like a sphere. It's a three dimensional structure. So the innermost layer is the retina. So it arises from the primitive retinal cells. So learn the introduction. It is the most common primitive uh, primary intraocular malignancy in children and learn it arises from primary retinal cells. It is more common less than three years of age. After three years of age, three to four, it can occur. After four years of age, it doesn't occur. So less than three years of age, most commonly it occurs. This is the median, this is the peak. Gender-wise, there is no difference in male and female. So it is same incidence is found in the male child as well as female child. So that is the gender. Coming on the pathogenesis. Now it's important to understand the pathogenesis of retinoblastoma. It's difficult because. So retinoblastoma occurs due to mutation of a gene. The name of the gene is retinoblastoma gene, RB gene. This gene is present on chromosome number 13. On each chromosome, there are two arms, long arm and short arm. So this one is present on the, it, this one is present on the long arm of chromosome 13. That is 13Q. The P is the short arm, Q is the long arm. So it is present on Q. 13Q, 14. 14th is the location. So on chromosome number 30, on the Q arm of chromosome number 13 at the 14th locus. So 13Q, 14 is the locus for retinoblastoma gene. So we all know this is a human cell. Inside the human cell, this is the nucleus of the human cell. So in human cell, there are 46 chromosomes. Instead of saying 46 chromosomes, rather say 23 pairs of chromosomes. There are 23 pairs. Pair number one, pair number two, pair number three, pair number four, pair number five, pair number six. Likewise, total 23 pairs are there, right? 